this trailer, it's going to be a little bit different. The serving window, usually I make them to where they flip up and you've got a big serving counter there for people to walk up. Um, for maybe in the future, I'll be able to, on another build, I'll be able to record making that part. Um, on this particular trailer, however, this is going to be a coffee trailer that they actually want to, um, it's, a, it's really a great idea to have actually like a drive up uh, window, kind of like those, I don't know if anybody has scooters or, or one of those small little kiosk type uh, drive through coffee places. But that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna actually fab up the structure and the window to have this thing be, there's gonna be about a two foot by two foot sliding window here where the menu will be able to be displayed on the exterior of that and the uh, window, serving window will be right about here which will give them all sorts of room inside for prep. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fab this up, um, just this window portion, I put this this uh, flat bar, two inch flat bar, eighth inch, on this side as well for support for the walls. So um, we're gonna go ahead and fab this up. So this sliding door design essentially gonna have this two inch angle here. So you got two inches to work with there. This is going to be mounted here. I'm going to have a longer piece mounted here. And then I'm going to have a one inch angle framing the sliding uh, serving window. Okay, so that sliding door is going to be framed in one inch. So that one inch is going to be there. And then to, to make the channel, I've got three quarter inch angle that I'm going to be mounting like so. So this serving window will be able to slide essentially on a track, okay? So that's, I hope you can see this good. So you got two inches, and then I'll be mounting, it'll be mounted flush, and I'll have this three quarter angle like that, and that'll essentially give me an inch and a, inch and a quarter or so track there for my one inch serving wide serving window to slide on. Okay, so as you can see, I've got that, I did that top bar. Now I'm gonna mount this bottom bar. I got it clamped in place, this two inch angle, all the way across, all right? Now I'm gonna tack it into place and that'll be my bottom rail. Now that's all tacked into place, I'm not going anywhere. I'll go back and run a bead on each of these welds to finish it off. comes apart, I want to fab up the door, the sliding door on this. This one's going to have a sliding door. So I've got a bunch of one inch angle. This is going to be my door frame. I'm going to have it be about 26 inches wide, about 24 inches tall. Okay. 
So what I'm gonna do, well, here's an easy way to, to cut this metal at 45s. You can use an angle grinder. It's, you can do it, it's possible. I've done it plenty of times. But you're gonna, I'm gonna cut each of these at 45 degree angles at the edges uh, for my frame. It's just gonna make it cleaner to look on the frame. So this is just a miter saw that's usually for wood. And I've, what I've done is I've, it's a 10 inch, normally a 10 inch uh, wood blade on there. I've taken that off and I've put this 10 inch uh, metal cutting wheel on here. All right. So it's not designed. It's, this is more for a chop saw. This blade is just straight cuts, but you can put them and adapt your tools, what you have. Now it does create a little bit more wear and tear on your miter saw. So be aware of that. But you, yeah, I've had this miter saw for years and it still cuts wood and cuts metal just fine. So, um, and you can adjust it you know, to whatever angle you desire. So there's 45, I got this clamp on here and that's gonna be about perfect actually. That's surprising. So I'll uh, run this and cut this at a 45 here, 45 here. Do the same thing for all of them. And uh, we'll see how that goes. It is a good idea, of course, this is loud, earplugs and face shield. See how I got this nice 45 degree cut, which is gonna be perfect for my frame. I'm gonna make several more cuts and we'll get this framed up and I'll show you when I start tacking it together. So now that I got my pieces framed out, they're all framed out. So now I'm going to, I got these, got these handy magnets you can buy super cheap and it'll help you Frame these things out to weld. Put them right there. It'll help you keep a keep a 90 degree on your corners. Of course, you put those on there, and then you go back. You go, you go back and measure. To double check, I want to be sure everything is kosher. got a pretty tight tolerance, about an eighth of an inch tolerance on the uh, vertical of my door. So now, let's see here, this is, it's 35 and 5 eighths, and this is, this is how you check to be sure you're square. Sure we're squared up. If you're not squared up, then your door is going to be what my grandpa used to call cattywampus. That might be a new word for some of you people. I don't know. So now we are exactly square. See, it did take a little bit of patience, but it's no biggie. And now I'll come back with the welder and I'll tack this so that uh, I'm certain I'm good, and then I'll go. Uh, dry fit it to be sure that I'm good.
All right, so now I'm tacked on all four corners. I'll take this and go dry fit. All right, so I got, I got my vertical shortened up just a hair. And so now we're gonna be sure that it fits. Fits good there. And all the way to the front. So we're golden. I'm gonna weld these up, be sure they're flush. You also gotta be sure you know, they're flat, uh, that it's, nothing's twisted, but I'm gonna get that, that welded up and we've got our door frame. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is weld on the slide guides for my, to make my channel for my slide. And uh, we'll have, so now what I'm gonna do is Tack in these channel guides that I made here. Tack them right onto that two inch angle. This is three quarter inch angle. Something I've done is rounded these edges that are gonna be uh, making the channel. So it just adds, adds a nice finished look to it. But I've got it clamped on here. I'm gonna tack it on, tack the top one on, double check that it slides. And then uh, maybe put some more welds on there and be done with it. I hope you guys can see how really simple and fun the welding this type of stuff can be. It's, it actually truly is fun and it's, you know, it's a bit of an artwork too. So it just makes it extra, extra special to, to be able to weld. And it's just, I mean, it's just a cool, it's just fun playing with molten metal, if you want to call it. You know, I've never been to a volcano, but I'm essentially playing with magma. Sort of. You know, I mean, metal comes from rocks, rocks are in lava. So same deal. Tacked in on our guide. Put our take that right and put our window right there. As you can see, once there's wood and everything in here, I might add I might add a piece of three-quarter inch flat iron. You know, right in there to kind of give it another side to this guide. You know, I don't know. I don't think I'll need it though. Um, but anyway, that's now we've got a sliding. All right, it'll be quieter once you, everything's lubricated and painted and primed and all that stuff. But so now, essentially, when you're inside. You can lock this when you're inside. You want to start today. Slide open. Maybe have a menu, you know, on here. Uh, that would be really cool to have that way as people drive up. Remember, this is going to be a drive up coffee bar. So as people drive up, you'll have a menu there you can look at and you can order and talk to the person right here and they can serve right here. There'll also be a bar top right here. So this is coming along really nice. This is gonna be a really unique and really cool door uh, for this. I don't, I've never seen anything else like this on, on a mobile bar or mobile coffee bar or mobile serving thing. So 
This is just going to be a really cool deal. Um, anyway, all you got to do is tack that on more. You've got your channel guides. You've got a sliding window now. You just got to clean it up a little bit, put some finishing touches on it, round some edges so nobody's reaching out and getting their arms snagged, and everything's going to be good.